Well, hello everyone! Welcome to Vanya's Vegan Voyage, which is a channel that deals with all things vegan food, fitness, travel, and beauty. Uh, today I am doing a little bit of a special and a different kind of video because this crazy person has decided to um, embark on a hiking adventure to Kilimanjaro, Tanzania, Africa. And what I'm going to be doing today is show you how to pack for this amazing, unusual, and uh, maybe probably once in a lifetime kind of trip. And it's especially crazy um, for me because look at this. I ended up getting into some poison ivy and a look like um, I am uh, with the plague. And uh, this is going to be interesting to see how I'm going to be healing while hiking. So today I want to show you everything that we need to have uh, when planning to hike Kilimanjaro. So for me, this is going to be an eight day journey up one day journey down and I absolutely cannot wait. So uh, we're starting at a warm temperatures and then we're gonna be slowly climbing up towards the glacier. So obviously you have to pack um, a little bit of all kinds of different stuff. So obviously you start with your documents, passport, kind of important. Um, also all of your tour um, uh, paperwork and very important to have a airlift insurance in case you get sick or something happens, helicopter can come and take you out to safety. So have all that paperwork. And then uh, medication is also very needed. So they recommend taking a altitude sickness med. It's uh, you know up to you if you wanna do it or not, uh, but I got it. I also got diarrhea medication, <laughs> anti-constipation medication, uh, ibuprofen, um, allergy medication, um, you know, anything that you think you might need would be a great thing to pack. So um, also another very important thing to start off with is a very good backpack, which has your back support so it doesn't lay right next to you. So this is a 35 liter and I'm probably going to be filling it up to 20 pounds uh, with a water bladder so you can keep sippity doo that as you're climbing up. Uh, so I'm going to be putting a lot of this stuff into this backpack and then um, I'm going to have porters who are going to be carrying a duffel bag with my other stuff. So um, toiletries, uh, you're going to need lip balm because it's going to get choppy out there, face cream, body creams, um, no hair washing, so um, dry shampoo <laughs> and uh, also no soap. So for that, what I got are these amazing underarm deodorant wipes and uh, bath sponges. So this is what we're going to be using for our, um, you know, care of, of the body and such. Obviously toothpaste, toothbrush, everything small. And you know me, I can't do without makeup. So I packed this teeny tiny elf makeup um, things that are not going to weigh a lot, but are still going to make me look like I haven't just, um, you know, dropped out of the, the, the sky onto the ground. So yeah, um, then a bunch of different snacks. Um, I also passed protein bars, which are probably going to be melting at the beginning, but towards um, you know the, the higher altitude, it's going to be okay. Uh, dry fruit, protein shake, because you want to make sure to feed your muscles because they're going to be working over time. Um, also, sunglasses, super important to have them polarized and adjustable to the light because the light up there is going to be crazy. And I got these gel bowl ones. They're not very pretty, but whatever. We're not looking for beauty. We're looking for efficacy, and this is supposedly what I need. So I have never worn these glasses before, and I will let you know what I think after I come back. Um, another very important thing is we're going to be doing some hiking at night. So a headlamp with lithium battery because lithium can actually last through cold temperatures. This is what you need. And um, speaking of cold temperatures, warmers for your hands and warmers for your feet because uh, this is going to be a must once we get up to the glacier area. All right, so we got the food, we got the protein, we got the sunglasses, documents, medication. Now footwear. So we are going to start off with these lovely hiking shoes, check out the thread. And then we're going to move on over to the lovely hiking boots. Um, and uh, for those, 
look at this um this cost me 80 dollars, so we're going to be needing this when walking on the ice and these are going to go on the boots so there you go right there and uh then huh, ponchos in case it rains hat um sun protective hat check this out i'm all matchy match this is great um and then i got this um for the head to extra warm and another buff because you want to protect the brain even though blonde hair you know whatever it's still it's still a good thing to have um and then when it comes to water very important i got this bottle that has a filter so it could actually purify the water that you find on the way and you can drink it straight up and then this is another one with wide open mouth because this is important because water will freeze so you need something with wide mouth so that you can still take a sip out and in addition to that i got these tablets so i can purify the water even further and drink without being concerned about what I'm putting into my body. All right, so let's start with the legs. So we need the hard shell pants that are gonna go over everything when it gets really cold. Um, I have these pants which are detachable so they can turn into a shorts and that you can just, um, you know, roll them up if it gets a little warmer. And then I have a bunch of under layers that are very, very warm um, that I can layer up if I get really cold. So make sure that this outer layer is very big so it can fit all this other stuff that's going to go underneath it. Uh, all right, so the tops right here, I have tank tops. And the really important thing here is that um, uh, when it comes to materials, they really don't want you to have cotton. So um, anything that's uh, that's fast to dry it would be great. So I got some of the short sleeves and tank tops. And then I have some with the long sleeves as well. And these all can just roll up and they're very airy and fresh and awesome. And uh, I love all the colors that I got. So I got a bunch of undershirts there as well. Underwear, bras, everything has to be dry fit. Okay, so no cotton. Hiking shorts, woolly la. And we got light gloves and heavy gloves for when we get up to really cold. And I got these so I can still uh, operate my phone and I can take videos and pictures and share with you guys. And then finally, a very important thing, Tanzania has outlawed plastic bags. So you're not going to be able to bring Ziploc bags. So what I did do is I bought these reusable bags so that I could uh, take my da daily shares of the food and put it in my backpack um, and anything else that I might need to store. So this is essentially what I have packed. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. I'm very excited. I hope I get rid of my um, grossness on the legs before my actual climb begins because it's a little concerning. And um, if you think of anything else that you think would be important, let me know. Uh, drop me a line in the comment like below. Oh, another cool thing that I forgot to mention. I got this really cool cell phone folder that just wraps around your cell phone and then you can just hang it off of your jacket and you can um, just, you know, pull on it when you want to take a picture or a video and you don't have to be very concerned about where it is in your backpack and waste time doing that. So, probably our next video is going to be <laughs> our adventures from Kilimanjaro. I'm going to try to do a daily um, video vlog to share with you guys my progress. Um, and I hope I can do it for all the vegans out there because, you know, plans power. <laughs> and um, I'm so excited. So let me know if I forgot something. Let me know if I overpacked. That's also a possibility. And um, until next video, you guys, I will see you soon. Oh, BTW, I forgot to say that there's a bunch of stuff on here that you don't see that I'm actually going to be renting. Um, so I'm renting a sleeping bag. They're providing a tent for me. I'm renting a, um, a climbing sticks. And I also brought a whole bunch of jackets. So I bought a hard shell rain jacket with, um, with uh, under, underarm zipper so you can open that so you don't sweat. Um, and then a nice little fleece and a parka, which is going to go over everything and cover you up. So I think at this point I haven't forgotten anything, but, um, 
yeah, let me know what you guys think. I can't wait to see you soon in the next video. Until then, stay strong on your vegan voyage. See you soon. Ciao.